So in case of anything, or in case you may uh, you encounter a problem or you come across a problem and you don't know how to go about it. As far as this unit is concerned, I have put my number there. I have put my email address there so that you contact them kindly. Use those contacts appropriately. Don't call me at 12 a.m. to tell me that Mualim, that is my new number. Hmm? Save it on your phone. I don't save student contact in my phone. Nani pigia tu sasita ya usiku tu, ama ni sasita asubui. Mualimu, that is, uh, this is njeri, njeri nyoka, nyokavi. Uh, that is my, my new Airtel number. For what? I don't save student number on my phone. And even if you call me a hundred times, I cannot memorize your, your, your contact. To eh? Melawana Michelle, siwez ku memorize contact zako. Ku memorize contact zako ni jukumulako. Sio jukumula mwalimu. So that is it. Eh? So this is communication skills. And in this class, you'll be required to tick your register. So ticking your register or uh, taking your register is your responsibility. I will show you how you do it towards the end of the lesson. So taking your register is your responsibility. So it is mandatory that you must know how to take your register. Don't call me on a Wednesday morning to tell me, Mualimu, take the register for me. It is your responsibility to take and to take your register towards the end of the lesson. And towards the end of the lesson, I will be able to give you a password. So when you are taking your register, you'll be required to have a password. It's a common password. It's a password for everybody. Your password ni akira mtu. Nikipeana your password, kila mtu anatumia your password. Wewe unaenda unatafuta jina yako, unaweka password na una tick present. That is it. That's number one. Eh? Another thing is that in this class of mine, which is communication skills, there are various activities that need to be done. So we will be having activities, activities such as I'll be giving quizzes. Every lesson has a quiz. Every lesson will be having a quiz. Every lesson will be having a discussion. Every lesson will be having a discussion. Apart from that, we will be having what we call a cut and assignment. Like week five, this week, week five of this semester, you're supposed to be doing assignment one. Week five of this semester. Week seven of this semester, you'll be doing cut two, cut one. Week seven of this semester, you'll be doing cut one. Week nine of this semester, you'll be doing assignment two. And week 12 of this semester, you'll be doing cut two. Ukiona tumefikia cut two, jua ya kwamba the next thing, week 14, is exam. So assignments, all assignments are out of five marks. All cut are out of 15 marks. Total, they total up to 40 marks. Exam is out of 60. And exam is face to face. Assignments will be done in the portal. Exam will be done face to face unless otherwise stated. Unless otherwise stated, exam will be face to face. Unless kuna swali, mimi nita kuanza darasa. Nita kuonyesha jinsi ya kutik register tukifikia mwisho wa hii darasa. Kuna swali. Is there any question? Don't wait until the class is over. That's when you're asking me questions. And you've been here all through. 
na kuna watu pia wanakuanga na uoga wa kuuliza swali sasa utasaidiwa aje na unasema upango ingu yeah. msa is it uh, somebody has raised his, his hand msanda msungu you have a question yes mm -hmm. what about my on my case that i told you i just told you in a few about the class yeah about the class and stuff yeah I told you you'll be reminding me every every week. Okay. Okay. Now you see, man, I know you're going to be able to get out of Okay. Okay. So let me tell you this: eh? every class will be recorded. Every class will be recorded. As we speak right now, this class is being recorded. Atu kiangalia kwa. Zoom, uh, zoom yako pale juu on the upper left corner the upper left corner you will see recorded recording it's being recorded and this recording it will be put in the portal why do we put these recordings in the portal we put them because number one if this class has started today therefore i expect in the few in the next few weeks in the next few weeks, the class will have so many people. Some will say we don't, we did not, uh, some of them will say that Hatuku attend topic one. So the purpose, I mean, uh, the purpose of recording is Wakija, Wataingia topic one, Watafanya, Zile Vitu Ambazo Ziko topic one, they will listen to the recording and they will be at par with us. That's the purpose of recording the class. You can even download those recordings because they are in the YouTube. The link put there will be a link that will take you to the YouTube. You can download that recording and keep it. But I don't see the need of recording it. Eh? So that is another thing. Another thing is that activities that are put in the portal, you must do them. It is a must that you do them because they will be graded. Zitawekwa na zile assignments, na zile cards, na zitakuwa graded zote pamoja. Usikuje kusema siku anajua. Hmm? Right now as we speak, results za, yu, za ile semester ambao ilikuwa. Eh? Last semester, watu kama nyinyi eh? wamepata results leo. They, are, they have been released today, they are in the portal. Some of them will be repeating this unit. Some of them will be retaking the unit because of not listening and not following instructions. Nimesema ya kwamba activities zote ambazo zimewekwa kwa portal lazima tufanye. Hakuna ati hii nitafanya kesho. Na lazima zifanywe kuanzia saa nane hadi saa kumi na moja. No extension of time. Because this is the period of class. It, they must be done within from two, within two and five. Five ikifika, uwana ni five zero two. Wacha kusema uongezewe wakati. Wewe sahau na hiyo unit, na hiyo hizo activities, and move on. Move on. Unless there is a question, I want to proceed now to class. I want to start with topic one. Michelle, your microphone is on. Yeah. Who has a question? So I take this opportunity to welcome you to Zitec University. Most, most of you will not meet, but those who are doing certificate in uh, journalism and mass media, uh, journalism and mass, uh, is it called CJMS? Communication and journalism. No, certificate in journalism and media studies. Certificate in journalism and media studies. We'll be meeting. We'll be meeting. Check your timetable. Toko tunakutana siku fulani. Kuna soali? Do you have a question? Kuna watu pia wanapenda kusambaza umbea ama mshene. Ukiona tayari class imeanza. Nani alianzisha hiyo class ni mwalimu 
wacha kuambia wengine hakuna class hakuna class na ni hapa kwa poto na uli click link link ikakuleta kwa darasa wacha kuambia wengine leo hakuna class as long as there is a link it means that there is a person who created that link so stop telling others there is no class maybe a teacher is going through hell to ensure that that class goes on maybe is having troubles with connection and so on and so forth maybe there is something that he is trying to finish up before he joins your class so to, that is that should not be allowed in this school as long as there is a link and you joined a class that class was definitely that class definite that link definitely was created by a lecturer so stop spreading rumors and propaganda to others that there is no class Michelle anatupigia kelele. Tutamtoa nje. So any question? I want to start the class. And I'm approximately going to spend like 45 to 1 hour. Then I'll give you the rest of the time to do the activities that have been put for you. Or that have been prepared for you. Tafadhali, yeah? to keep our microphone off. Let's keep our microphone off. Wajiko Dedan, you have a question or you are exploring Zoom? No, I have a question. Mm -hmm. So these activities, where are they like placed? They are on the portal. The e-learning e -learning portal? Yes. Under which, under which? Wewe, wacha tusome kwanza, iyo maswali yote tu utajibiwa. Utajionea wewe manyewe. See, we, we go to class first. We learn, then I will show you how you do those activities. Na usi nifuate fuate na simu kuniuliza, mwalimu lisema, ati iyo ka, ka button kako wapi. No, that one is not allowed there. Eh? If, because I will give you time to ask questions. So kindly let's, let's have a class. If there is any question, uh, then we will handle it as, 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 as we, as we, as we uh, do what, as we face it. So allow me to... to do something here. I want to share my screen. I hope you can see my screen. I hope you can see my screen. Michelle, can you see my screen? Yes, I can see. Dedan, can you see my screen? Yes, I can see. Good. Now, uh, before we start the class, let me advise you. Eh? Kindly, wherever you are, wherever you are, if you are a student, wherever you are, you should be seated where there is in a uh, good connection, good internet co connectivity, stable internet, a silent place, wacha kuka mahali ngombe wa meka, kuku wanapita vifaranga wanapika kelele mbwa ndio huyo amenyakua simu akifikiri unacheza so on and so forth make sure that you are seated in a place conducive for learning so that you can hear me clearly and therefore i can also be able to hear you clearly like when you are mahali umeka unasikia upande wangu hakuna kelele there is no noise Hakuna kelele hata kidogo. Hata tukinyamaza. Wacha tunyamaze dakika moja. 
hakuna kelele so therefore make sure that you are ready to learn by uh, looking for a conducive environment i want to start this class introduction to communication skills and when you talk about communication skills or communication you are going to realize that communication is part of our daily life communication is part of our daily life just like breathing you cannot say for example you are not going to breathe today you can't say that you can't say that i'm not going to breathe today because i am mad at some people no you will die hautamaliza one hour kama hujakufa therefore that's why we are saying that communication as far as you are living it's part of your daily lives nimesema ya kwamba those people are making noise for us me i'll just throw you out hatutashinda hapa who is that let me look at let me find you Mary keep coach mimi nitakurusha nje acha turushe Michelle nje ndio ajue wengine hata tuwekea microphone on ukipiga kelele mimi nakutoa nje kuanzia sasa hadi milele hadi ile time tutakuwa na class tena inakutoa nje sio kwa jambo lingine kwa sababu I've warned you severely and you don't want to listen ah tuwezi shinda tunashinda ninakuwarn ni so allow me to share the screen we start our class ona sasa tunarudi nyuma tena na tulikuwa tumeanza so we are saying that communication is part of our daily lives just like breathing like for example you cannot decide not to breathe at you say sita pumua ukisema hivyo you are going to kill yourself by not breathing so communication is something that you cannot do away with as long as you are alive you cannot do away with communication even if you say today i'm not going to talk to anybody today i will keep quiet and the people will not know what i'm thinking by keeping quiet it you are still communicating even the way you walk the way you sit in class the way you interact with others the way you use your gestures you are still communicating the color of the clothes that you are wearing even your handwriting the way you write hmm? you are still communicating that's why some organization would prefer you to write a an application writer not typing so that they can see is this a person who can do, be able to be is this a person who is responsible because some handwritings when you look at them they look disgusting they look that this person is not serious how can you write an s like a 5 how can you write an f like 7 huh how can you write a g like nine so sometimes we communicate knowingly and unknowingly so we use communication in various things for example we use communication to express ourselves like for example maybe you are well, you are very angry with somebody you are very mad at someone you use that communication to express yourself to express the reason as to why you are angry we use also communication to interact with others in lives right now all of us are new maybe we have not met maybe this is your first class you don't know your colleagues you don't know your partner but you are going to interact as time goes by you will know one another you will know that this is joel this is michelle this is uh, athiambo and so on and so forth and you are going to create contacts and so on and so forth so we use communication 
to interact with others in our lives. So again, people use communication to fulfill variety of needs. We communicate to fulfill some needs. For example, right now, I am communicating to you. I am giving or I'm imparting knowledge to you. So that is need number one. I might also be communicating to warn you about an impending danger. So we use communication for persuasion again. Those people who sell products and services outside there, they use communication to do what? To persuade you to buy. Maybe you didn't want this kind of pair of a pair. I mean, you didn't like this kind of shoes, but somebody persuades you. And I be ah, ikiatu ndo iko fashion. Ukivai ikiatu, kila mtu atakuwa na kuangalia. He persuades you. So we use communication to persuade others. Like right now, the politicians are using communication to persuade you to support them or to vote for them when it comes to the general election. They are using persuasion. They are giving you all sort of promises. Some are telling you that they'll be giving you the poor family 6,000 every month. Some are saying that we are going to make sure that every person who has a small business, we are going to support them. Eh? Some are giving fake promises to persuade you to do what? To, to, to vote for them. So again, we use communication to influence relationship. It is through communication that our relationship with one another grows. For example, maybe you are a boy, eh? you have loved a girl. Eh? If you have loved someone, or maybe you are a father and a daughter, or a teacher and a student, these people must communicate to enhance their relationship or to make sure that the relationship goes on and on. If one of them keeps quiet, there is no relationship that happens. For example, if it's a boy and a girl, you, you are in a relationship. You find that if one keeps quiet, he doesn't call, he doesn't say hi, everybody keeps quiet, then that relationship dies, just like that. So in other words, we use communication to influence relationship. And when you talk about relationship, you are not talking about the relationship between a young man and a young lady. No, relationship can be a relationship between a teacher and a student, a relationship between a father and a mother, uh, and a, a, a daughter, a relationship between a son, no, a brother and a, and a sister, and so on and so forth. So we also use communication to inform. We use communication to inform, to share, to discover, and also uncover information according to this guy known as high bells, hyper bells, no high bells and weaver. No matter your occupation, we are being told, no matter your occupation, no matter what kind of a job that you do, whether you are an engineer, whether you are a doctor, whether you are an aeronautical engineer, whether you are a farmer, no matter what kind of a job you do, communication must be there. So people spend a great amount of time communicating. Even animals, they communicate, but they don't talk. Animals communicate, especially when an animal is in pain, it will produce a certain sound to show that it is in pain. When an animal is giving birth, like a cow, or maybe a dog, or maybe a sheep, they produce a certain sound. When a, when a hen wants to lay eggs, or eggs, uh, eggs, eh? they produce chicken, they produce, or hens produce a various sounds. Those sounds are meant for communication, to communicate. It is therefore for you to possess excellent communication skills. You need to have excellent communication skills, regardless of whether you are an engineer, regardless of whether you are an, an accountant, regardless of whether you are a journalist. It is, it is very important 
for you to possess good communication skills. And good communication skills is not only verbal as in speaking, even the way you dress, the way you talk, the way you walk, the way you address others, those are communication skills. Vile unatembea. Kuna mtu anatembea tu ni kama maisha ilimulemea meaka ya kitambo sana. Kuna mtu wakisimama unaona tu huyu ni shida tu. Eh? So that, those are the things. Kuna mtu anavaa nguo kiangalia zile nguo amevaa. Unajua tu huyu mtu he cannot afford this. Eh? And so on and so forth. So because communication skills are essential in ensuring a profession um professional as well as an organized as a good uh, as I mean we are saying that because communication skill is essential it is therefore that you must be able to achieve the goal of ensuring that there is good communication ensure that you communicate properly the way you talk the way you walk the way you address others eh? the way you sit down hmm? sometimes uh, you're going to be invited in an interview and some people before you get into the room some don't even knock they just bulge bulge in unafungua tu mlango unaingia kuna wale wana knock mlango showing that they respect what others are doing in the other room so that if they are ready they tell you come in but if you don't knock the door you just unaingia tu it simply means that you are you are very poor in communication skills some of them, whenever you get into the interview room, you just sit down, even before you are told, sit down. Unapo mtemberea rafiki yako, unaingianga tu kwa hiyo nyumba yake kama umekachi. That's very bad. Charity begins at home. Whenever you go, you are visiting your friend, knock the door. Let him open, answer the door. Tells you come in. Once he tells you that, he might also tells you sit down lakini wengine wetu tunaingia kama umekaa chini ni kama ni kwako that's very bad eh? that's why we are learning today communication skills therefore we ask ourselves what is communication so in short i can say that communication in short the, the shortest definition ever communication is the process of creating a common meaning Communication is a process of creating a common meaning. When you talk about a common meaning, we are saying this, eh? that uh, when I tell you to do something, let's say, for example, I tell you next week, our class will start at 2.30. And then you come here at what time? At 1.30. There was no common understanding. There was no common understanding. Common understanding simply means that if I tell you that the class will start at 2.30, you'll be there at 2.30, not 2.45, not even 3.01. You'll be there at 2.30. That whatever the, the speaker intends to be done by the recipient is done the, exactly the way it was intended. Then that way we can say that there was a common understanding. That's why we are saying that communication is the process of creating a common understanding between the sender and the receiver. So therefore, we have the elements of communication. But before we go to the elements of communication, allow me to go to the process of communication. So that in the process of communication, we can see the elements of communication. Now, this is the process of communication. This is the process of communication. And the process of communication starts with the sender. The sender, who is a sender? The sender is a person who initiates a communication. The sender can be an organization. The sender can be a human, uh, can be, the sender can be an organization. The sender can be a person. The sender can be an organization or a person. So the sender is a person who has an idea or who has some information that he wants to communicate. 
This person, therefore, must need a channel. Channel is a route through which communication passes. A channel is a route or a path through which communication passes. For example, newspaper is a channel. Newspaper is a channel. Television is a channel. Message is a channel. The way you message someone, eh? you SMS someone, that is a channel. A channel can be a magazine. A channel can be a journal. A channel can be a television. A channel can be a film. A channel can be YouTube. So there we have the sender. A sender is a person who, is initi who initiates the communication. He, he can also be an organization. And then there is a channel. The channel is the path through which communication passes or information passes. Then there is the message. The message is the information that you want to communicate. The message is the information that you want to communicate that you want to communicate. After the message, then there is what we call the what? The receiver. The receiver is a person to whom the message is intended. I am writing this message and I'm sending it to my lecturer. So the lecturer is the receiver. Then from the receiver, there is what we call the feedback. The feedback is the path through which, now the feedback is the reaction of the, of the receiver towards the sender's message. The feedback is the reaction of the receiver towards the sender's message. Therefore, what are elements of communication? The elements of communication is, number one, we have the sender. Number two, we have the channel. Number three, we have the receiver. Number four, we have the feedback, and number five, we have noise. So in the process of communication, there is what we call noise. Noise is anything that interferes with communication. And noise can be anything. Noise can be anything. Noise can come from the message. It can come from the sender. It can come from the receiver. It can also come from the environment. So noise is anything that interferes with communication. As we communicate, there is noise. As we communicate, there is always noise. Therefore, we go back to elements of communication, of which we have already explained them. We have talked about the sender. We have talked about the message. We have talked about the channel. And we have said that the channel is the path through which communication passes. We have also talked about noise, and we have said that noise is anything that interferes with communication. Noise can be physical, noise can be semantic, noise can be psychological, noise can also be noise can also be uh, it can be it can be physical, that's yeah. one. Like for example, extra bright light. Uh, when we hear a uh, rolly hooting or vehicles hooting, those are physical noises. It can also be semantic. Semantic comes from the way we pronounce things. If you make noise to us, hata hakuna kuongea, tunakurusha inje. So noise can be semantic. It can also be what? It can be internal, which is psychological. Hmm? Kwa mfano, uneza kuwa kwa darasa, unamisikiza mwalimu, but your minds are very far. You are thinking about a date, ambao umeitua town KFC, Kentucky Fried Chicken, ambao iko wapi. Iko, is it Moy Avenue? Yes, Moy Avenue. Eh? Lakini akili yako yote iko huko kwa date. Date itakuwa namna gani? Na ingali uko darasani. Mwili uko darasani, lakini akili ziko mbali. Hiyo akili kuwa mbali is noise. And that one we call it psychological noise. Ama labda before uende darasani, mlikorofishana na rafiki yako. Maybe haukutaandika kitanda. 
ama maybe ulimwaga maji haukupanguza mkakorofishana asubuhi ama jioni ukaingia darasani unafikiria vile umekorofishwa umetukanwa unafikiria vile utahama hiyo nyumba and so on and so forth that is psychological noise physical noise is anything that comes from the environment for example there is a building that is taking place next to where you are and therefore you cannot concentrate on what you are doing we also have what we call we have various categories of noise eh? i don't want to go into categories of noise eh? and then we have feedback eh? and we have said that feedback is reaction of the sender no, of the receiver towards the sender's message any reaction like for example you receive a message you keep quiet that's a reaction when you send someone a message and he keeps quiet or she keeps quiet that is a reaction so when you talk about feedback feedback can be immediate feedback or delayed feedback for example if you ask me a question right now i'll give you the answer immediately that one is immediate feedback it can also be delayed like for example if you apply for a job at safaricom as an assistant an assistant uh, what an assistant human resource manager then it might take even years before they come back to you or they respond to your application so therefore we can say that feedback can be delayed or immediate feedback again can be negative or positive it can be negative or positive like for example if you ask me to open a cart and the time has already lapsed i can tell you no i will not do that that's negative feedback or maybe for example i am requesting you that we conduct a class on sunday then i'll be expecting uh, i might get a negative feedback no mwalimu there is no way we can have a class on sunday and so on and so forth so those are the elements of communication then there is what we call setting the setting setting is simply the environment the environment the environment in which the communication is taking place for example there are some words that when you use them in a certain environment they do what they 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 have a different meaning for example you are in a class setting and you say in kiswahili huyu ni shoga yangu maybe ni huyu ni kijana fulani anasema ule ni shoga yake in a class setting it simply means that this is his friend but when you are somewhere maybe in a club and you say this is huyu ni shoga yangu ama maybe uko alongo in ange street then it will mean something else and so on and so forth it's just like when you use the word hustler if you use the word hustler in some environment it will mean that you are a swindler it will mean that you are a prostitute it will mean that you are this and that eh? but when you use it in a certain environment hustler it means that you are a very active person or you I mean not active but you are you 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 are a very a very what a very hard working person so hustler when it is used based on the settings various settings it has got various or different meanings so communication is unavoidable and one cannot avoid communication even when we choose not to speak we still communicate through our silence so facial expressions gestures eh, the way you express yourself uh, in terms of uh, facial expression in terms of gestures positive and our dressing they all communicate something uh, something to people around us the way you dress huh? the way you dress i was seated somewhere this week and i was uh, there was something i was doing and then uh, a lady passed mwanamke fulani akapita huyu mwanamke alikuwa ni mwanamke mnene sana 
na alikuwa amevalia nguo fupi sana inakaa night dress alafu ilikuwa inachora nguo zake za ndani and i could hear men from the other end wanamuingilia wakimsalimia mambo eh? something of the sort kwa nini waliamua wamsalimie ule mwanadada ni kwa sababu ya vile amedress so you don't re- you expect respect in that essence eh? you don't expect respect in that essence when you dress badly people will address you according to the way you are dressed hmm? there is somebody who said dress the way you want to be addressed ladies who are in this group dress the way you want to be addressed tumelawana njeri nyokavi you dress the way you want to be addressed if you want to be addressed like a prostitute like a prostitute dress that way if you want to be addressed like a just dress the way you want to be addressed so that is it so there are some characteristics of communication that you need to know number one characteristics somebody is telling me that i cannot be heard inaskika let me ask one of you michelle can you hear me yes i can hear you somebody is telling me that i cannot be heard Now we are saying this there are some uh, characteristics of communication that we need to know eh? number one thing is that communication is irreversible you cannot take back the words that you just said ukishaongea kitu umeshaongea kama ni kumtukana mtu ushamtukana you cannot take back the words so it is irreversible you cannot take back what you have already said so communication is irreversible So our deeds and words are recorded in other people's memory. That's why you hear somebody saying sita sahau vile ulinifanyia tukiwa kwa mwana. Ulinitukana sana. Uliniita mjinga. Sita wai sahau. Because whatever you say, whatever you say with your mouth, it cannot be taken back. So be very careful whenever you are addressing people because they will remember you. with what you called them or according to how you called them secondly character second characteristics of communication is communication is strategic we communicate because we want to achieve a certain goal maybe it is a relationship that is broken and you want to rebuild your relationship you use a certain you use certain words to communicate you use certain words to show that you are sorry you use certain words to bring yourselves together or to bring the other partner closer to you so in other words we are saying communication is strategic and we use communication for various purposes for example in this class i am using communication to teach you once i'm done teaching you this topic then we'll meet next week for another topic communication is panacea panacea means what that although communication can be smooth and the bumps and the strength the road to success it won't always get you what you want eh? it won't always get you what you want so boosting your communication skills also it will help increase your effectiveness so as a student here ensure that you boost your what your communication so that you can do what you can improve your effectiveness in communication you should not expect to solve something and you are not a good communicator you have a problem here you don't know how to communicate in fact let me tell you whenever we attend some interview you are the best candidate but when you get there you are not able to express yourself unaitwa interview na kabisa before wakuita interview 
maybe there were 300 applications that were lined out. Wakaona who you is the best candidate. And maybe you are three of you, but you failed to express yourself the way you have written on the CV. So again, communication is a process. Communication is a process that happens very fast to an extent that it is very difficult to, uh, to realize that it is a process. Like we have gone through the process of communication, which is initiated by the sender. It is a process. So as far as a communication model is concerned, is you to Izo utasoma mwenyewe. Izo zote. Hii tumepitia process. Hii tumepitia. Uh, that is the model. All these are models of communication. You will go through them. And then we look at the types or levels of communication. This reminds me of an exam that I said last semester of types of types of communication. Na nakuambia niliona maajabu. Na ni question one. Unashindua wanafunzi walisoma kweli. It is question one. I've given them, explain the five types of communication. Niliona maajabu. But anyway, uh, yaliopita sinduele. Let me talk like, uh, now anyway, let's look at these types of levels, uh, types or levels of communication. Number one, we usually have interpersonal communication. Michelle, no, not to be here. Michelle, not to push a inch at ten and a how to I join the class ten. And in a switch off, on a switch on. Well, you were from Bungu. Nitakurusha inja na hauta wai join ni izu mtena. Nime kuswitch off. Ji switch on tena. Tukurusha inja. Let me share my screen. Sorry for that. Kuna watu unashinda tu kisema, ukiongea, ukiongea. Mpaka sauti naisha lakini awasiki. Types of level, types or levels of communication. Number one, we have interpersonal, intrapersonal communication. Intrapersonal communication simply means communication within yourself. Communication within yourself is what is known as intrapersonal communication. Tuneza sema ni kuji, kuji ongelesha kimoyo moyo. Hii ni kujiongelesha kimoyo moyo. Like for example, uh, let, me, let me just read that. This is communication that occurs within yourself and it involves your thoughts, it involves your feelings and the way a person looks at himself. Because interpersonal communication is centered on the self, you are the only sender and you are the only receiver. Sazilo me una uko kwa basi, Maybe unafikiria kuhusu jambo fulani. Ama maybe unafikiria kuhusu somo fulani. That is communication. That is intracommunication. Unajiuliza maswali ukijijibu wewe mwenyewe. Haujiulizi la loudly. Unajiuliza kimoyo moyo. That is known as intrapersonal communication. The next one is interpersonal. Interpersonal communication is communication between two or more people. When you communicate with your friends in class. When you communicate with your friends in, in church, that is intrapersonal, interpersonal communication. Then there is what we call small group communication. And in this type of communication, the group must be very small, must be small enough so that each member in the group has a chance to interact. We have small group communication. And lastly, we have public communication. And public communication, the speaker sends a message to an audience. 
the speaker usually delivers a highly structured messages eh, using the same channel, like for example, in interpersonal communication. The voice is louder and the gestures are more extensive. Like for example, uh, when you talk about uh, this, you have heard these guys called the, the politicians. These are near of campaign. Politicians are doing campaigns. That what they are, they are, they are talking about to these people. Ile ambao wanaambia wale watu ambao wanawasikiza is public communication. The voice is louder so that everybody can hear. What I'm doing is not public communication. What I'm doing is teaching. But what our politicians are doing, kule mashinani, so that they can have large number of followers is what we call public communication. So there is what we call importance of communication. Number one is to understand how communication takes place, to feel comfortable in social situation, and also to gain speaking and listening uh, experiences that we use, that you'll be able to use now that and in the future. I will stop there if there is no question, unless there is a question. I will stop there unless there is a question. Unless there is a question, I will stop there. I will stop there unless there is a question. Kuna sowali? Yes, Hilary Omondi. Hilary, we are waiting. CIT 020118 2022. Kuna sowali? Sijui ni kama Hilary ni kama ameinua mkono kama hajui. So if there is no question, uh, the next thing that I'm going to, to do is to show you. Natafadhali, I want you to be very keen. Eh? I want you to be very keen. I don't want to repeat. I want to show you how you do a discussion and how you are going to do the activities. And I'll start by sharing my screen eh? and my portal. Now that is my portal. I hope you can see that. I hope you can see my portal and that's how even your portal looks like. Eh? Cynthia, Cynthia, kuona my screen. Cynthia Adiambo. Eh, naona. Na ulianza ukituwekea picha yako, camera on, pia uka switch off. Kwa nini uli switch off? Ha? Ukianza na camera unaza, unakatu hivyo camera ikiwa on. Sasa, this is how it looks. Eh? You can see, hi, learners, my name is David, blah, blah, blah. Forget about that. This is the attendance register. Tuanze na attendance. If you go to your portal, it doesn't look like mine but you will click on your attendance. Once you click on your attendance, let mine open. You click on your attendance. Once you click on your attendance, then of course it will not open like mine. Aita fungua kama yangu. Kwa sababu yangu inafungu, ikifungua, inanionyesha nani wanafunzi. No, inanionyesha siku. For example, let me show you. It will not open like mine. Your attendance will not open like mine. But it will open. Once it opens, it is going to ask you for what? You, it is going to ask you for a password. That password, I will give it to you. I will give it to you. That password, I will give it to you before this lesson ends. In fact, let me give it to you so that you can sign in. You can register. So this is the password. I hope you can see the password, all of you. It is 9M, 9M, 9, small m, 9, small m, 7, small x, small b, 7, 9, 
small m, seven, small x, small b, seven. That is your register. That is your password for the register. So when you click on your register, it will take you where your name is. Then you input that that particular what, that particular password. Once you put, once you put that password, then it will you tick the register. You record yourself as present. If you two, akuna maneno mingi. Konfano. Let me look at these. Eh? This is 11th January. 11th January, we didn't have anybody who joined the class. We didn't have anybody who had already joined the class. And because of that, I'll put everybody absent and I'll update what? My register. So 11th January, Kilamdua ko absent. But on 18th, which is today, make sure that you do exactly how I have shown you. Unless there is a question on the register. Already I can see somebody has registered. Wacha tuone uyu ni nani ame register. Wacha tuone ni nani. Tunaona nani, ya naito nani. Mutinda Angulu has already ticked his register. We can see Omondi Willis. Willis has already recorded herself as present. Siju wengine tunapanya nini. Omondi Willis has recorded himself as present. Who else? We can see Mutinda Angulu Pia Ameji record. Let me refresh my page to one wengine. Only uh, we also have Johnson Karaoke has recorded herself himself. Akinyi Omondi has recorded herself. Continue doing that. That is it's as simple as that. It's as simple as that. Yeah, I can see various people. We can also see Moakio Mwanjala. I can see Waidera Maderi. I can see uh, who else? I can see Mut uh, Mutinda was there. Mukensia, Mukensia Tetu has registered herself. Karaoke Stephanie, Stefan, Stephen, eh? Karaoke Stephen. I don't know whether it's Stephanie or Stephen. Eh? We also have Johnson Karaoke. They have recorded themselves. That is it. It's as simple as that. It's as simple as that. Now let's go to assignments. Now this is how it is. When you go to the notes, Today's notes, I've already, uh, I've already shared notes to, for today. You can download those notes as we say, as we speak right now. Then secondly, there is what we call activities of the day. There are activities of the day. Number one, read any other supplementary reading material, outlining the introduction of communication. Then activity number two, you are told to discuss the best practice of communication and why there is need to have better communication in the organization. Discuss the best practice of communication and why there is need to have better communication in the organization. Then you're told, post your discussion in the provided discussion forum. Post your discussion in the provided discussion forum. So the forum is here. I've already opened the forum for you. Now, this is how you are going to do it. Once you click on the forum, once you click on the forum, let's see where it will take us. My machine is very slow, the internet is down. Once you click on the forum, you come here. You go to, you click on the last post there. Click on the last post. Once you click on the last post, you go to reply. You see, this is the question. Discuss the best practice of communication and why there is need for better communication in the organization. Well, we will click reply. And then you write your discussion. After replying your discussion, you post. As simple as that. Let me repeat again.
kwa discussion forum already nishafungua na ita expire saa 11 you go to forum you click on the forum once you click on the forum there is started by david maina last post so you click where you see hyperlink hapa 18th january 2022 ukisha click hapo inakupeleka kwa wapi kwa inakupeleka kwa swali discuss the best practice of communication and why there is need to have better communication in the organization then you click on reply after you click on reply you can write your answers there and then you do what you post as simple as that as simple as that now let's go to uh, the quiz the quiz let's go to the quiz quiz 1 I've already opened the quiz for you. The quiz is ready for you. So you can decide to start on the forum or the quiz, whichever you want. So you click on the quiz as a student. You click on the quiz as a student. Once you click on the quiz, you preview the quiz. Me, I am previewing because I am the creator of the quiz. But sasa wewe hauta kuona preview. Uki click it akuleta mahali kama hapa. Eh? It will bring a box like this. So you type your answers there. You type your answers there. Or if you don't want to type your answers, maybe you want to upload your answers. You write them. For example, you maybe you are using a machine. Ama unatumia laptop. Eh? Unakuja tu hapa. Una click. Unaiandika una, in a word document using your laptop una save mahali ukisha save mahali you come here you you upload it so you click on this file you choose the file maybe yenye assignment iko maybe it is topic 1 you click on it and then you do what you upload you upload eh? do not is happening to my internet it's very slow so you upload once you upload it will appear here and then you do what you finish your attempt you just finish your attempt and that is it kama utaki ku type unaweza upload those who are using phones you can write somewhere in a book you can write somewhere in a book then you take a very clean picture of that assignment that you have done then you upload as simple as that so unaona imesha upload topic 1 ndio hii once it has uploaded you finish the attempt you finish the attempt and then there is a question i will stop at that point and allow you to go and do the activities that have been put there remember those activities are mandatory those activities are mandatory So we are going to read a password. Password, to read a password. Watch to read a password. Tutakumbuka kweli. I will not repeat it, I will copy paste it there. Now I have copy pasted the password. I've already shared with you there. Again, uh, because today is our first lesson, I was thinking of creating a, a WhatsApp group, but I will not create it today. Let me create it tomorrow. No, let me create it next week. We are only 30 participants. I think next week will be more. Will be more than that, so that majority can join the WhatsApp group. So I don't want to say much. I want to stop at that point. So unless there is a question I stop at that point to allow you or to give you time to do the activities. Na watu wanainua mikono hapa. Maina nganga unasemaje? Mwalimu. Si tuna submit sangapi? 5. All of the assignments must be done by 5. So
Somebody please repeat the attendance process. Iyo sita rudia, my friend. Iyo sita rudia. Nimerudia manambili, I cannot repeat it the third time. You must be very keen. Now what you do is that you go to the, your register. Click on the attendance, the, the register. Then the register will ask, will ask you to put a password. Your password ambao ni meshea hapo. Di unaichukua, unaiweka hapo. And then you click on the attendance and you submit as simple as that. So unless there is a question, me I will stop at that point. Kindly go do those assignments. I will mark them today. Exactly five ikifika, I will be marking them. Because five utako shamaliza, we shall submit. The recording will be put there as uh, immediately the class is over. Especially, sa kumi na moja ikifika tu hivi, recording ya class ya leo, itako imewekwa hapo. Nini class ya leo itako imewekwa hapo. Hira liyo mondi you are saying it is not working. How? How is it working for the others and not yours? I fail to understand. I'm on a turn to Kuanisha Wale and Bowa Machuqua Regessa, Hira Diomondi. Let me share my screen for the last time. Dio Yonina share Hira Diomondi. You can see the people who have recorded themselves. There are more than 10. We are only 37 people. Now, I may attend class, there are 32. You can see one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eh? eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 people, half a class already have recorded themselves. Eh? My friend, Uyu ni nani? Hirari. Hirari and who? Una ni nani? So kwa class attendance iyo mimi sita kusaidia. Sababu wata nikikuwekea present leo, bado next week kutasema haujaweza kujiwekea. Ha? So for here liyo mondi, wacha nikutik leo present. Next week, you will suffer alone. You must know hmm, how to take the register. Kwa pi uu hira liya mekotea. So ni record leo. Next week, you will be doing it yourself. Hila li umeinua mkono, unasema aje. Tumemalizana na hiyo story. So that is it. Tore tufanya hizo activities na pathali. Let's go and do those activities. Time is not on your side. Before you notice it, it will be five. And you'll be crying for extension of time, which I will not give. 